story to tell. Brazil and Italy develop a mountain fighter called AMX. It was dubbed as the light to NATO. This is a close air support aircraft in line with the Brazilian and Italian philosophy at an affordable price. So how good was the AMX? and how successful it was on the runs it was given. In early 1977, the Italian Air Force issued a request to build 187 attack aircraft to replace the Air Italia and Lockheed RF-104G Starfighter as reconnaissance. In 1980s, the Brazilian government announced that it intended to join the program as an alternative to the LMG MB-326 family. In July 1981, the Italian and Brazilian governments agreed to cooperate on a joint project the plant is 187 aircraft for Italy and 100 for Brazil. AMX International is classified as a ground attack aircraft, providing aerial fire support and performing reconnaissance missions. AMX is designated A-11 Ghibli in the Italian Air Force and A-1 in the Brazilian Air Force. The AMX attack aircraft is capable of operating at high subsonic speeds and low altitudes day and night. If necessary, it can operate on bases that have few runways or are damaged. It has a low infrared signal and is designed to reduce radar signature. It is composed primarily of aluminum and manufactured using traditional construction methods. However, elements such as the tail fin and elevators use carbon fiber composite materials. AMX has a length of 13.23 meters, a wingspan of 8.87 meters, a height of 4.55 meters, an empty weight of 6.7 tons, and a maximum takeoff weight of 10.75 tons. Essentially, the AMX is a single engine attack aircraft with high mountain monoplane wings and twin air intakes. A large proportion of the AMX internal space is located to a Phoenix and onboard computer systems. Both the navigation and attack systems are computerized. For accessibility and ease of maintenance, all a Phoenix are installed directly in base beneath the cockpit in a manner in which they can be worked upon at ground level without the use of support platforms. Drawing on experience from the Panavia Tornado, the AMX is equipped with a hybrid flight control system. A fly-by-wire control system is employed to operate flight control services such as the spoilers, rudder, 
and variable incidence tail plane, while the ailerons and elevators are actuated via a dual redundant hydraulic system. The wing is fitted with both leading edge slats and trailing edge flaps and off-wing spoilers ahead of the flaps. The spoilers can function as air brakes and to negate lift, improving takeoff and landing performance as well as maneuverability during flight. The AMX is powered by Rolls-Royce Bray 807 turbofan engine that produces 49.1 kN of thrust. The aircraft can reach a top speed of 1053 km per hour. Combat range is 889 km. Service ceiling is 13,000 meters and rate of climb is 52.1 meters per second. Brazilian and Italian aircraft differ significantly in the Avionics system. Italian planes are equipped with NATO standards, while Brazil is not. The flight system employs a GE Avionics flight control computer. Extensive electronic countermeasures are fitted to protect the aircraft, include passive receiver antenna on the tail fin and an active jammer port that is typically mounted on one of the aircraft's hard points. AMX is equipped with 7 hot points with a payload of up to 4 tons including bombs, missiles, rockets, etc. Italy's AMX is equipped with a 20mm M61A1 Vulcan 6-barrel Gatling cannon located on the left below the nose of the aircraft. Since the US refused to sell the M61 to Brazil, their AMX was therefore armed with two 30mm Burnham D Mark 164 cannons. The Italian AMX has seen remarkable performance since put into service. In 2011, it fought as part of a UN-led air campaign against Serbia with more than 250 shorties. Italian military aircraft deployed 710 guided bombs and missiles during shorties. Italian Air Force tornadoes and AMX fighter bombers deploy 550 bombs and missiles, while Navy AV-8Bs deploy 160 guided bombs. For Brazil, the AMX is one of the three most important fighters at the main ground attack aircraft. In total, about 200 AMX were produced. My video about the AMX International Fighter NCR. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.